Well, today I got to take Grody to the vet. She has a growth on her right eyelid and uh, they're going to go take it out. I'm not looking forward to this because she's going to have to wear a cone for uh, seven days or five days. So this one hurts. It's not going to be fun, but the vet said we need to get it done. So I figured we better do it. Somehow, I'm supposed to put a strip of this in her eye. This is day three. It's impossible. I'm going to show you how difficult this is. Sit. Sit. Ready, sit. Sit, Ready. Ready, sit. Sit. Ready, sit. Sit. Good girl. Sit. Sit. Good girl. Good girl. Vet, you couldn't give me eye drops. You had to give me some be beeswax. You ready to go to vet? Get that off? I bet you're not. But she's still blinking that eye a lot. I don't know what that's about. I hope that's okay. Something that did frustrate me is they gave me these eye drops, which I'm gonna show, I've either shown you or I'm gonna show you how I try to put those those wax drops into her eye. It's impossible. I told, they called me the day after surgery last week and said, hey, how's everything going? And I said, those, that eye stuff, that I'm, the beeswax, whatever it is, I can't get it in her eye. And they go, oh, okay, we'll do your best. We usually use two people to put it in. And I was like, well, I'm one person and I have a cone on, or she has a cone on. And they're like, okay, you know, do your best. It's not a big deal if you can't get them in. And then today they're like, have you been putting them in? And I'm like, no. And they go, well, w would eye drops be easier? I'm like, where the f is that? Like last week. So I spent $30 on this beeswax stuff, and now I had to spend another $60 on eye drops. Since you 